Kia ora everyone, thanks for joining me for June's LinkedIn update. Today I wanted to focus specifically on small business in New Zealand and as we all know they are central to our economic plan for recovery, in fact they are central to everyday life in New Zealand. And first of all I wanted to say a special thank you to small business owners and employees. The past few months have been incredibly difficult for so many of our small business community members and they have certainly felt some of the worst economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Globally, small businesses contribute significantly to the economy and this is also true here in New Zealand. And beyond that, these businesses have played an incredibly important role in our communities. Uh, they are our baristas, they are our brilliant startup uh, and entrepreneurs, they are our hairdressers, they showcase the best of New Zealand made and New Zealand innovation and for that I say thank you. I also want to acknowledge uh, what I've seen through so many of the letters and correspondence I have received through COVID-19 um, that it has been these business owners that have given everything to look after the people who work with them and for them. I have been moved by some of the sacrifices that have been made by those small business owners on behalf of their employees who they consider their family. So to all of you, I say thank you for looking after so many Kiwis. When we first responded to COVID-19 and made the decision to go hard and go early against the virus, one of our priorities was making sure that our small business owners, the backbone of our economy, were supported and protected. In my March LinkedIn update, I touched on the fact that we'd been working closely with the New Zealand business community to make sure government support for small businesses uh, was responding to their need, that the initiatives reflected what was happening on the ground. From the feedback we received, we created the wage subsidy scheme, which began paying out to business owners within a week and has so far supported more than 1.6 million jobs. We also brought in tax changes to uh, reduce tax liability and to free up cash flow and rolled out interest-free loans for small businesses. And now as New Zealand begins to get moving again, our valued small businesses are central to our economic recovery plan. That's why we're looking at ways to continue to support them and their growth as the economy opens up again. In Budget 2020, we included a full suite of initiatives to help our small businesses get moving. Now that included extending the wage subsidy scheme in a more targeted way. So if you or any business you know continues to take a hit to their business of 40% or more, they may be eligible for the extended wage subsidy scheme. From a survey we recently did, I'm aware that not every business owner will know that. So I encourage you to look at the details, check whether it suits your needs and continue to seek that support if um, that, is, uh, that is what you need to keep you going. Giving businesses additional time to apply also for the interest-free loans was part of some of our recent decision making and was recommended by the Small Business Advisory Council. I want you to know that the government is keeping our communication open. We're continuing to look closely with key industries to make sure we're doing our part to enable Kiwi businesses to recover, to succeed, in spite of the many challenges they're facing. I'm confident that together we will rebuild New Zealand and that we will bounce back together.